Hi, I'm Brenda. Welcome to Nancy and Apron. Welcome to our kitchen. Today I'm going to do a strawberry banana uh, bread. It makes two loaves. One watch? Come on. Um, my kids asked me to make this. They're strawberry and banana fans, and so is Tom. So, I've already got started. Now, let me tell you all, I did get the recipe at chindeep.com. So, you can go to their page and see everything, you know, as far as the ingredients, how much of everything to put in. I'm just making it. It's their recipe. Okay. We've got strawberries. I got something. Oh, that's blocking it, isn't it? Sorry. Uh, in here, I've creamed already a little bit of cream cheese and some butter, some sugar. Fixing to cream it all together. I've got flour, baking soda, baking powder, salt, all in here, all the dry ingredients. In here, I've got two mashed bananas, a couple of eggs, some uh, vanilla. And Tom already prepared the pans for me. Like I said, this makes two loaves, and what he did was he lined the bottom of them with parchment paper and then sprayed them for me with nonstick spray. I've got the oven preheating to 350 degrees. You want to get it creamed together until it's nice and smooth. See? Like that. Keep your washcloth close by. If you're like me, you're going to sling that stuff everywhere. <laughs> Alright. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our dry ingredients, which is the flour, the salt, the baking soda, and the baking powder, and we're just going to Mix these all in together. And then I'm gonna pour the bananas in there. The bananas, the eggs, the vanilla. We're gonna pour all that in there. Get it mixed in together. We're just gonna start folding this around to get it mixed in together real good. Use very ripe bananas. Don't use fresh ones. You want some that's ripe, that's got that really powerful taste of banana to it. And mix it together really well because then you're going to put it in with your cream cheese mixture. That's, again, that's cream cheese and uh, sugar and butter. So, we're going to get this mixed in together. Alright. Let me wipe this off. I mean, it's a little, a little messy. Not bad. Not bad. Alright. Let's get this in there. And get these mixed together. Smelling good, y'all. Smelling good. Even if all the flour's not mixed in together, that's fine. I got a small bowl. Should have got a bigger one. So let's get this. Let's start folding this in. Big bowl. Big, big bowl. Get you a big, 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 big bowl. That's what you need. <laughs> okay. 
gonna put our strawberries in. We're just gonna fold those in. No milk, nothing like that, so. You don't have to run to the store and get that. The eggs and the mashed up bananas, that's where you get your, and the vanilla, of course. Where the liquid part comes in. All right, let's see here if I've got this folded in good. It looks like I do. Now. Let me wash my hands again. Now, let's get these pins over here. Alright, yeah. Let me get these smoothed out. clean up the pans and my mess here. I have it. I've got that batter everywhere. All right. Um, look at that. We're going to sprinkle a little bit of sugar over the tops of each loaf. Stick these in the oven. I didn't have to check the bake time. I'm gonna let you all know what it is. Ooh, we're gonna put it in for one hour. So I'll see you back in an hour. Okay, you guys, this is smelling so good. And it's ready. Oh, wow. Would you look how pretty that bread is? And I can tell you that this smells as good as it looks. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> well, obviously we're gonna let this cool down. And then uh, we'll give it a try a little bit later. Y'all, this smells so good, I'm telling you. Give it about 15 minutes, then pop them out of the pan and let them sit and cool down even more. But, um, let's see here. See how easy that comes out? So simple. Now, let's flip it over. I'm going to leave it sitting on this parchment paper, though. We'll pop this one out of there. Same thing. Uh oh. That one's paper didn't come off, so. We'll just pull it out of there and lay it right down. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we're going to taste these. We're going to go ahead and give these taste. We have a special guest here today, by the way. Our daughter, Ashley. Who's wanting to try this. And her and her brother, the oldest one, that is, is the one who uh, was, oh yeah, this looks so good. Can we have some? I'm probably supposed to let it cool down a little bit more, but <laughs> look at that. And I'm going to give it a little slice in half. 
and uh, I'm sure that her and Tom are going to give this a try. I'm just going to set it up there and let them step over here and I'll look at her. Look at her, trying to be super sneaky. Before I even, she take a bite first. This is good, yeah? It's so good. <laughs> As good, good as it looked on the... Better. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, there you go, guys. That's a flavor. From a banana strawberry lover. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. There's another one. <laughs> but, and cream cheese. Yes, definitely. If y'all haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I hope you will. Click subscribe. <laughs> the notification bell so you know every time we put new content on. Click all. We usually put new content on on Tuesdays, bright and early. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you try it. And I've already told y'all where you can go to get the recipe. Uh, they love it. It's a hit here. So y'all take care and we'll see you next time. Bye.